Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in our previous video, we learned how to use this package, uh, WordPress create block to create one block type for one plugin. However, what if you want to create like a collection of blocks? Like what if you wanted to create a plugin that offered 20 blocks or 30 blocks? That's what I want to show you how to do in this video. So I have this brand new empty WordPress installation and I'm just going to walk through this process with you. So the first thing you want to do is point a command line or a terminal towards your plugins directory. I'd probably just open up my local app and then click go to site folder, go into app, public, WP content, and just drag the plugins folder onto your command line or your terminal. Cool. And now from your plugins folder, run this command with me. We're going to say npx uh, at symbol WordPress slash create dash block. Let's make sure we're at the latest version. Let's give our folder a name. So I'll name my folder like uh, Brad's blocks. And then I always like to use the variant, so dash dash variant of dynamic, because I like the output of my blocks to be powered by render.php. I don't like just saving static content as the output. I like dynamic output. And then finally, before I press enter, let me zoom out a little bit so it fits on a single line here for you. Before I press enter, I also like to say dash dash namespace. This way I don't need to even change it in the generated files and just set this to something unique for you. So I'll call it like Brad's blocks, but you can choose something that makes sense for you. Let's go ahead and press enter. And this should only take like less than a minute. Cool, so you can see it finished. And now you can run an LS and you can see I have that brand new folder, Brad's blocks. So you can CD into Brad's blocks uh, and then open that up. I'll open it up with VS code. Cool, now you'll know you're in the right folder if you have like build, SRC, node modules, so on and so forth. Now, let's go be sure to activate this plugin in WordPress. So like in the admin dashboard, let's go activate it. Cool, now let's go try to use it, right? So like if I go into hello world and add, let's just search for like Brad's blocks. Cool, so there it is. It works on both the editor side and the public front end side, but that is just one block. So now, uh, let me show you how to adjust things so that you can have as many blocks as you want within this one plugin. So it all starts with the SRC folder. Essentially, we just want multiple subfolders nested inside the SRC folder. And what's cool is every subfolder that contains a block.json file will be automatically like acknowledged as its own block. In other words, if you go into package.json, our build and start commands that are using WP scripts the good news is that WP scripts can automatically detect as many blocks as you have. So all we need to do inside the SRC folder, let's create like a new subfolder and let's name it like uh, first block. The name doesn't matter. And then we would just drag these files into this first block subfolder. So like drag block.json, uh, edit.js. I mean, just drag all of these files into your SR, or excuse me, your first block folder. Cool, so now our SRC folder has this one folder named first block. Now you can just duplicate it. So like literally if you just uh, like click on first block and hit controller command C and then click on the source folder, you can press controller command V and then you can, don't even have to take your hands off the keyboard. You can just press enter to rename it. Let's call it like second block. Let's go into second block and let's go into block.json and change its name. So let's change this one to be like uh, second block. Uh, let's change the title to like our second block. Let's go ahead and save that and then let's go into edit.js and let's just change what you see in the editor. So like I'll change this to say like this is the second block. And then we can also go into render.php and just change the output, right? So you could say like our second block output. So you could save that. And now we do need to make sure that these files that live in source live in the build folder. So all you do is you go into your command line if you only need to build once, you can just say npm run build. However, if you want it to watch you for ongoing, like every time you save it, re-renders it or recompiles it, you just say npm start. That's it. So check it out. I have that running. Um, and now in the background, like if I add three exclamations to this output and hit save, it's automatically creating a new copy into the build folder. Now, I'm doing this from memory. I don't have a script for this video, so I might have forgotten a step. Let's go see if that actually worked. So if I go back into my admin dashboard, be sure to refresh because uh, it's not going to see like new blocks without a refresh. I can't imagine. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I knew I was forgetting a step. Haven't had my second cup of coffee today. So we do need to go into the PHP file for our plugin. And this is, I believe this is the very last step. 
So in your PHP file around line 27, we just need to register. So you just need literally one line of code to register each block type. So this, the default one, instead of build, if you look in the build folder, it would now be first block. So keep the slash build, but then add on slash first block, and then just duplicate that line, and then this would be second block. Now, anytime you create a third and fourth block, you just duplicate these folders and then add this one line of code in your PHP file, but that's it. We don't need to change any webpack or package.json config, no transpiling configuration, literally just this one line of PHP. Let's go ahead and save this and test it out. So if I refresh, the first block is back in business. Let's try to add, uh, what is it called? Second block, yeah, our second block. Cool, looks good. Let's see what it looks like on the front end, awesome. Practice makes perfect, so I mean, we could try this literally just with a third block and then we can call this video good. But you could just duplicate second block, right? Paste it, rename it to like third block. Uh, literally, let's just change block.json to like third block. Uh, I'll change edit.js to say like, this is the third block. I'll change render.php, third block. And then just in our PHP file, just that one line of code. So this would be third block, give it a save. Uh, the command line is automatically retranspiling for us. That's awesome, we don't have to do anything. Uh, refresh, let's try to add in, I'm not seeing third block and I realized it's because back in our third block, block.json, yes, I changed like the namespace and the short name, but I forgot to change the human readable title. So that would just be our third block, save that, refresh. Just give it a try, there it is, our third block, looks good looks good cool so you get the idea so you could have as many blocks as you want this is almost zero configuration i mean the the tools does it all for us wp scripts is amazing it's come a long way i'm very happy with it uh, this is about as easy as it gets now this video was just about how to organize multiple blocks in one plugin but if you're interested in the new interactivity api in wordpress check out my channel uh just about a week ago it's almost a two hour video all about the new Interactivity API. So I would challenge you to maybe create a few blocks that are powered by the Interactivity API. Also, just a really quick plug at the end here. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my premium courses. Uh, you can find a link to this down in the description, Learn Web Code Premium. It gets you my five most helpful courses plus access to a private Discord chat community. The five courses that are included are a Figma to Full Stack Bootcamp, a Laravel course, my SQL course, React JS course, and of course, the 44 hour full WordPress course. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more web development tutorials.